All right, so today is going to be a wrap-up and TBR video. I'm going to be talking about the books from May that I read that were on my TBR list, and then giving you guys the list of books for June that will be on my TBR list. So in May I had five books that I declared TBR and I only ended up reading four out of the five of them simply because with finals and school cutting out half of May I just ran out of time. So the five books that were on my TBR list for May were Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin, Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, um, Miss Darcy Falls in Love by Sharon Latham, and If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Um, the only book out of that series of books that I didn't read was Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I was really looking forward to getting a chance to read this book, and I just either didn't have the drive to pick it up, or ran out of time, or a combination of the two. Um, I knew this was going to be a book that I couldn't just sit down and like tear through I actually had to sit down and pay attention to it. So I probably shouldn't have saved it to last, but I did. So this book is going to transfer over to my June TBR list so that I can finally read this book and see if it lives up to the hype or if I like the TV show better. Alright, so the first book out of my series that I read was Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And I actually just finished this book and it was it was beautiful. So I had picked this book up thinking it was going to be super fast paced and have a really like linear plot progression as most books do and that was not the case. The plot in this book was everywhere. It jumped time periods, it jumped places, it jumped between a series of what I believe is like 10, 12 characters that were like main characters. Um, it was ridiculous. I am completely in love with this book and I can't really say too terribly much about it without giving away spoilers. So you're just going to have to trust me and I will post a review on this probably later this week. The next book that I read off of my TBR list was Miss Darcy Falls in Love by Sharon Latham. This book was one of the adult books that um, was super short. As you can see, it's not terribly long. And I kind of stuck it in my TBR so that I would have a cute, light, um, quick read. And it was not at all what I was expecting, and it was still brilliantly written. Um, it focuses on Georgina Darcy and brings in some of the characters from Jane Austen novels to kind of play a role in how the plot unfolds. Um, I thought that this book was super well written. Um, the plot was really linear in this book, which was super different from Night Circus. Um, but it made it that much easier to follow, and I tore through this book in a day. So I would highly recommend it to anyone who's a fan of Jane Austen novels um, or adult romance, historical romance novels, um, just in general. It was an awesome book. All right, so now I have some young adult books that were on my TBR list, the first of which was City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. If you have seen my blog at all, you know that I hated this book. I was really disappointed with it. I haven't had to set down a book and just say that I couldn't finish it in years. And I got about like 150 pages into this book and I couldn't do it anymore. I have not technically finished this book. But I will not be picking it up again. I I had some serious issues with the author's writing style, just kind of how slowly the plot moved for me. Just wasn't doing it. Um, I know there are people out there that really, really love the Mortal Instruments series, and 
good for you, but unless someone can convince me that after like 150 pages, the plot suddenly picks up speed and is brilliant, I will not be picking this book back up. The last book that I read off of my TBR list was If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I was really nervous about reading this book, mostly because I have read a decent amount of books um, about death and dying and how the topic is handled, and I thought that Gail Foreman handled the topic brilliantly. I was super happy with how this book unfolded. Um, the writing style was very appropriate for young adult readers, and it was just super well written overall, so good for you, Gail Foreman. This was a beautiful, beautifully written book. So now we're going to move on to my June TBR list. There are four books that I have on my June TBR list. Um, that list will probably expand at some point as I am participating in two summer readathons so far, and there will probably be more that are added to that. So let's get started. The first book that I have on my June TBR list is The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galabreth, um, aka J.K. Rowling. I picked this book up um, because it was a J.K. Rowling book. I wasn't super sure about the plot, but I wasn't into the casual vacancy, so I decided to get this one instead. Um, this book focuses on the character Cormoran Strike, who is a army veteran who ends up turning into a PI. Um, and he kind of has had a bad streak of luck. He doesn't really have any big cases, and he's kind of starting to lose his practice until a character named John Bristol enters the story and decides that um, Cormoran is the perfect person to solve the murder of his sister, Lula Landry. Um, his sister fell to her death a couple, I think it's a couple weeks before the story takes place. And everyone else has labeled it a suicide except for John. He is determined that she was murdered and now demands that Cormoran solve what happened. I am really excited to see if this book lives up to how emotionally attached I got to the Harry Potter series and if J.K. Rowling's writing translates into adult novels as well as I hope it does. Alright, the next book on my June TBR list is Paper Towns by John Green. This will be the second John Green book that I have read. Um, I have also read The Fault in Our Stars. And I have heard kind of okay things about this one. Um, I wanted to read this one as part of my um, summer readathon challenge. And it is getting turned into a movie soon, so that was also another incentive to read it. Um, this book focuses on the characters Quentin and Margot, and um, kind of their friendship and Quentin's romantic feelings for Margot since they were kids. Um, and one day Margot ends up going missing, and Quentin takes it on himself to find Margot and find out what happens. But the more he learns about what might have happened to Margot, the more he discovers that Margot is definitely not the person that he thought she was. I am really anxious to read this book and see how it compares or lives up to my opinion of John Green's writing style from The Fault in Our Stars. The next book on my June TBR list is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I actually own the entirety of the series and have started reading this book once before, um, but never really finished it. I am a sucker for Victorian London um, time period books, so this book really had appeal to me and it built up um, my fantasy expectations. So I am super excited to see what this book holds, um, when I finish it, what my thoughts on it are, and then get straight onto reading books two and three. The last book on my June TBR list is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. I finished Divergent, I think in like two days, 
and it's taken me a while to get the time to sit down and read Insurgent and just get my hands on a copy of Insurgent. Um, I have heard that Allegiant wasn't what people expected it to be, so I'm going to try and power through Insurgent, get my hands on a copy of Allegiant, and finish off this trilogy so that I can see what all of the fuss is about. Um, I can't really say much about Insurgent without really giving away plot points from Divergent because this is book two in a trilogy. Um, so if you haven't read any of her books, they are dystopian young adult novels um, focusing on how all of these different factions um, relate to each other and kind of um, what happens when something goes awry, I guess is how I'll describe it. Um, I have heard awesome things, so I am super excited to get on with reading this series. That's all the books that I have for you guys today. Um, I will be posting links down in the drop down box of where my blog is at, um, a, as well as a list of the books that I read for May and a list of the books that I will be reading for June. Um, don't forget to check out Goodreads in my blog and subscribe.